Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with again, I'm back in Journey for Life. Thanks for joining me, and uh, some things have happened since you were here last. Like a bunch of stuff regrew. Some stuff did, some stuff didn't. So nothing has regrown into this foundation. That's good, we can see that nothing is regrown under this foundation either. This stuff over here was regrown, I cleaned it out again to test it again, and there's another one right there. So I don't know if I just missed that guy, or... Um, Maybe I missed it. Maybe it was just there. Uh, it's grown back since then, so I'm not sure. But uh, so the foundation thing might not work if you remove the foundations afterwards. So today, uh, today's plan is to get this beautiful lathe working on uh, up there, and then uh, make some handles for some tools. And uh, we also need to make a um, what's it called a. Um, there's another there's another structure we're supposed to make tool workbench that's the one let's go uh, plop that baby um what do we need for this we need planks two meter planks and nails well we have i have been doing some stuff uh expanded our storage a little with uh, all the extra stuff that we've got here so we got all the basics in copious volumes those are three birch things there's a bunch of sticks there's a bunch of twine all sorts of extra stuff i have a bunch of these guys sitting around because we went and crafted we went and filled these well not filled went and crafted the some gears because those are fairly time consuming and i don't want to be spending too too much time well i mean i was doing other things so i just basically come in here you pile a bunch a couple logs chop them up into the blocks go down here hit craftables and just tell them to make a bunch of them right so so when i need them next time they'll be there uh we could make a bunch of fiber rope but that's not We'll wait until we get the weaver to do that or when we need it. So let's bring this uh, workbench up here. This might be something that we would put under a shelter of some sort. I'm wondering if maybe we make another windmill or connect this one to it. I'm not certain which is the best way to go there. Uh, we'll, we'll maybe possibly put in some sort of roofing here. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab our, what is it, 10 planks? 10 two-meter planks. We got those piled up in our very fancy outdoor plank storage. Uh, if I shift click, it gives me two at a time, so we get ten of them there. Excellent. Oh, did I bring the nails? I did. Five nails, ten planks. Jump some logs and get this done. So this thing is the place that you combine and build the tools. It doesn't make the tools itself. It's a little strange. Took me a bit to figure this one out with the help of the, uh, the multiplayer uh, streams that we did. There we go. It's all it took is that. Now, if I hit E with this thing, it's going to look at this tool, tell me its damage factors and various different things, but it'll also let me take parts on and off if it's an actual hammer. So the thing we need to do is figure out how to connect this to the wheat, to the mill here. Blah, 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 here. Um, I want to be able to access this side. Can I? Can I do that? I don't think this is going to fit here. Um, that would be pretty wonky if it did. Um, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it wouldn't be. What do we need? Let's see about putting another vertical connector in here. Uh, one-to-one -one maybe? Or do we do a... Yeah, one-to-one's probably good. Some short solid sticks, some fiber rope, and bamboo log, and then the two connectors. Good. You also go over this way. You, I guess you're fine to... You really, really want to connect, don't you? Okay. Can I stick you up there somewhere I can from here? Excellent. And I'll come back and grab this baby. Wonderful. So I'm really eager to get uh, making real tools. That's going to take some forging work. Well, some furnace work, I suppose, not forging. That guy in there. Can we go direct there? Do we need a... Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, you're not latching onto that. So your connector is then horizontal already so I need a vertical connector in there I know it latches up oh there we go okay but that's see that's not gonna work so you're gonna be stuck way out over and over the edge yeah uh, okay mmm mm, mechanically slightly not okay I mean, here's what we'll do we'll for now we'll just do this put you in there that's disconnected put you there Put you there. Apparently, I need to jump my tools to get in there. So that's not exactly a... Well, I'll get at that from the other side. Uh, so we got that. The other thing I wanted to do is, is uh, think about this. 
Uh, it's really awkward to get up here, and I thought about this one. What if we put a... What if we put a ramp here? What if we put a ramp here? Alright, got our planks. Got that thing uh, cleaned up and uh, weed whacked underneath, and there we go. Now we can climb right up here to get our supplies. Now, I think a plank storage might be pretty awesome right in here, but we'll look at that another day. just wanted to make sure that uh, ramp access was there because then we don't have to be silly and start jumping our tools. Now, this is the order of the day though. Back to our crafting. We are going to be able to make a ton of different handles here. Now, it doesn't say what the handle is for. What it does, seems to do anyways, is it gives us different bits of information about what the hand, how the handle functions. So, the length matters, obviously. Uh, the type of hammer, maybe this would be a handle for a hatchet, maybe this one's like a handle for a blacksmith's hammer and so on. Maybe this one's for some sort of splitting axe for uh, like cutting the wood. Um, we might have this as a, mm, this might be our axe handle. I think that works, makes sense to be one of those two. Let's see, that one is damage on trees is pretty high. No, no. Looking for a long one with good damage on trees. This one is a digging chance, a high digging chance. So this this item right here is going to be our uh, shovel handle. Okay, so this one clearly is the best one for our for a long uh, like uh, felling tree, felling hammer. Um, and this thing again, this thing doesn't do anything. You need to connect the piece. So let's let's look at the handles, get those sorted out. Uh, I need logs for that. Uh, we have some right here. Let's let's use them for now. Now they're going to have to be different sizes to do different things. Uh, this, for instance, the short ones take a log block. Uh, the mediums take a one meter log, and all these long ones that are highlighted because they're available to be made, they take a two meter log. Let's make ourselves that one and assume that's going to be our felling axe for chopping down trees. Uh, I want this one. This is a medium handle. That's going to be our shovel handle. So let's throw a uh, log down here and use our primitive axe for the la one of the last few times. Let's go there to make our digging chance one. That is the shovel handle. So we got a shovel handle. We got a tree uh, felling axe handle. These two have the same damage. That one's got slightly higher damage to uh, attack speed and damage to plants. I mean, let's craft that for our a mining axe. We're gonna need like a little hatchet probably and a, a hammer. Oh, I used the oh, was like where the heck did they go? But of course you just you just chopped them or made them into handles, right? There we go. And we'll take one of these guys and chop them up into uh, blocks. Oh, I think I just kicked one over the edge. Nope, close. All right, this handle, what does it do? Damage to plants. This one's build. Okay, so this gives a building bonus. Obviously it would be our hammer. Either a smithing hammer or a building hammer. I don't know which one we're going to do. And that one has our damage to plants for a little hatchet to cut up the, the little shrubs and twigs. We don't get a uh, machete or a sickle or anything yet. Maybe that's coming in the future. Maybe there's a scythe that I'm just not aware of. Let's, uh, let's clean this up and then we will um, we'll have the tools. Hopefully the tools we need to get started. There's five parts we need to make. So let's try to remember what the parts are when we go back to the table and make the molds for it. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of those. Just fill up our inventory from over here. Um, I can actually put the handles down for now. Uh, no, I'll do that out there. We'll make the molds here first. Let's go with checking out what tools we can make. So the handsaw we already dealt with. Ingots, nails, we've been making a bunch of. Uh, small hatchet. What does it say? Okay, damage, damage on trees, and damage on plants is super high. Okay, this one is a uh, carving axe. Okay, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm no uh, woodsman, so in real life, so I don't know what to reference these on. So we'll actually leave that one as our small hatchet, I think. Uh, forest axe. Oh, that's identical, isn't it? Well, okay. Um, forest axe top. That seems... Hmm, I think we'll go with the hatchet. We made a small handle for it, so let's make that mold. So we'll go with the uh, felling axe type 1. That's good. That'll be our tree choppy downy one. There's a blacksmith hammer, fine blacksmith hammer, flat hammer. I don't know what it's for. Use for metallurgy. Thanks. 
The blacksmith hammer has the best of the bars. Uses a little more stamina than the fine blacksmith's hammer. Building isn't going to be that big of a deal. The fine blacksmith's hammer seems better. Uh, we know we need to make a shovel. Apparently there's no digging chance there. It's just all grave, so that's all about the shovel handle, I guess. We I think we made one of these molds already. Mining chance is huge on that. Okay, so we clearly want one of those, but I think we have it. Alright, so let's go with one of these two. Looks like the blacksmith's hammer wins with the judging everything based on simply what bars we were able to use. I, I don't have a clue if that's the right way to do that, but uh, we got a bunch of handles, and hopefully we got some ingots that are ready over here. Do we have, uh, we have some more nails that should finish that? Oh, convenient. Finish that one off just in time. Uh, now, we gotta make, oh, we gotta heat up these. Oh, my fire went out. So we get, we're getting distracted. Um, I kept it going for like an hour of, of off-screen prep time. <laughs> and then I let it go the first time I get on here. That's alright. Oh, why is that not swapping? Why is that not swapping? Oh, because it's a two-hander, right? Need two hands to start the fire drink. There you go. Stoke you entirely. Make sure we're good to go on the fires burning. We didn't start. Yes, we did start the fire drink. Okay. Now you need to build or to heat these to bake all these. We'll uh, toss them on there. Lovely. And let's go look while that's baking about our other pickaxe. Thought we had one, didn't we have one? Uh, ah, yes, pickaxe baked. Nice. Okay, let's make this one first. I don't remember if we left it, left one over there or not. But now we mouse here and it says uh, we have one iron ingot in there, which is obviously true. Um, but it says we need five. Iron ingot times five. Okay, that's five. Let's close that. Let the temp go back up. We could use a few of these. Um, but again, we'll get into that in the episode that we deal with. Yeah, we must have made one. In the episode that we deal with the uh, smelting. We'll be... Uh, up there it goes. You just see it pour down there. It doesn't take any cool time. Oh, what the heck? I just made a saw blade? That's not what I meant to make. Oops. Uh... <laughs> Uh, okay. Thought I... Wait. What? Oh, I picked up two of them. I'm so smirt. So smirt. Uh, you have a saw blade. <laughs> Congratulations, Drake. You successfully failed. Saw blade. Oops. Now we got the big pickaxe blade. There we go. You get in there, and now let's use another batch of ingots. Because, you know, waste not, want not. Apparently we're going to be wanting for ore at some point. Alright, you guys should be baked. Lovely. How's our water doing? It looks looking a little red and flashing in my face like. So let's uh, put these guys down here. I don't know if you can over bake a mold. Um, saw a really cool video on the Primitive uh, Technologies YouTube channel and uh, totally recommend it. But he made makes all this stuff in real life, and he made a uh, kiln for fire bricks, and he gave an example of the, you know, people classically in video games will make bricks, right? You just take your clay and smush it together, and you got a brick. Uh, not really. You've got a brick that technically would hold some shape, and it'll harden nicely, but the moment water touches it, it'll dissolve. So he, he fire hardened them, and it was really cool to see. All right, that pickaxe top... Lovely. Let's toss that in there, too. Now we're going to need more ingots again, of course, because, like, a bazillion of them. Okay, so this is our, pick, our mold that needs to be... that is done. So let's load up our ingots. And uh, probably just going to kind of walk through this whole process with you guys, because... Uh, oh, wait. I could take something out of... Oh, it, it formed and made another one. Oh, darn it. See? See? You should have moved it, Drake. I think I just wasted a bunch of ore, didn't I? No? Yeah, I did. I totally did. Somehow I made two. That's unfortunate. Okay, now a hatchet. Okay, let's make that one next. So we'll go through each of these. We'll uh, fill up the thing. We'll let it heat. We'll pour it in, and we'll make the, grab the ingot. And I'll just kind of speed this along as we uh, let it torch away here. I wish there was some, like, burning sounds, but we just get to hear the birds. Alright, I uh, had this on the multiplayer. Uh, our furnace glitched out on this again. So, 
it's showing black. It's not showing the information about what needs to be made. So we'll leave that in there, let the temperature go up, test it, see if it actually uh, will uh, make the item that we could take out. I don't know if it does. It might be buggered up and broken, and we might have to just uh, pretend like it broke down and needs to be replaced. Oh, there's saw some stuff go in, and I cannot interact with this thing. So that's unfortunate. Uh, maybe if we move it, we can interact with it? No. Maybe if we smash it apart? Nope. So we now have a bugged out, broken device. That's not going to work. I'm going to re-log, and we'll be right back and see if that fixes it. Okay, shut it right down and came back here, coming back here, I don't think it's working at all. So I think we have to reform this thing and just assume this guy is broken. I, I have no idea how to get this to fix itself, so I'm going to go ahead and unload this thing and uh, we'll make a new furnace and destroy this one. I don't know how to destroy it, but maybe you guys can let me know if there's a command to do so. We'll put this in the garbage pile mm, behind... The workshop. This will be our this will be our derelict station of dead things. Oh, look! I, I moved it. I moved it, and it seemed to work now. Uh, it's giving me information. This mold might not be working, but let's let's try it out. I just shoved it off to somewhere else, and it. Now I can see the information. That's cool. Um, are you going to smelt me one or not? I'm not even sure if it's going to work because this mold might be broken too. Nope. Uh, it just ran it. Uh, look at that. Huh. Magically solving the problems by accident. Okay, we'll, we'll just... We threw it in the tar garbage and it said, Oh, I don't want to be in the garbage. And it came back. So maybe it's fixed. Uh, okay, so now is it working? Oh! It's not working here. Oh, okay, so maybe the location is the issue. Hmm. All right, let's see how far I have to move it for it to work. Uh, okay, look at that. Um, okay, that's uh, that's awkward because if it like buggers up like that badly, now now it's oh wait, it's empty. So it's telling me. Ah, it's working. Okay. Uh, put it over here. See if I'm doing this. Let's see if we're doing this right. Um, felling axe. Okay. Oh, we don't have that. Um, let's see. You're the ba the pickaxe, and I have one of those. This is the blacksmith's hammer, and this is the hatchet. And I think we have those parts, don't we? We don't have the hatchet. Okay, so the hatchet is where. Let's see if we can get him working. It says it's empty. Put the hatchet down there. It's given us the information. Oh, baby. We might have magically fixed the bug. So just moving it seems to be the solution. I could be wrong, but we'll give it a, a few seconds to let it uh, process and smelt. There it goes. That beautiful golden juice flowing down there. And we have a small hatchet. Okay, so if it bugs up like that uh, for you guys, or when it does, because it probably will, uh, just move it. That is fantastic. All right, so we got our third component. No, our fourth component. Oh, apparently we already had one. So I got two hatchets. Great. We got a large collection of things I don't need. <laughs> well, we've got the hatchet, we've got the blacksmith's hammer, and we've got the pickaxe. Um, hatchet, blacksmith's hammer, and pickaxe. Let's put the other two on and uh, see if we can get those to work as well. All right, there's our felling axe. There you are. Pick out our last piece, our shovel head. Excellent. So I'm going to take that out of the way. Now, I was thinking about this, and it's probably not all a waste because these tools are probably going to be the same things that we use for our civilians, I imagine. Our uh, community members. Now, let's take this, 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 and this. Um, I can put those nuggets back. Don't need the clay in there, but I'll take that. So we got one, two, three, four, five components to our tools and their handles. Excellent. Let's go make ourselves some real tools. I'm glad we got to actually see that bug and get it fixed, because it was annoying as anything in the uh, on the server. Now, um, something I keep trying to remember is when I'm working around, I should be running the sawmill. It takes about 10-15 seconds, 10 seconds I think it is, to activate that, so we might as well. 
Okay, so where is our handle for building? Um, uh, why are these... Oh, I don't know what the length is on these. Um, well, let's sit them down here. That one and that one. Those seem to be the short handles. Uh, don't, I think that's a long handle, maybe? Oh, that's a really short handle. Okay, so that's our hatchet handle, obviously. <clears throat> and this one here. This seems like our shovel handle, I think. Yes, digging chance. Okay, so let's do that and uh, mouse over this table. Hit E when we have the handle in our hand. And then we, this is so cool. We just take this one, slide her on, and boom, it's attached. Don't worry, it can come back off too, which is really disturbing. Don't swing it anywhere near your friends. Uh, but anyways, hit E again, and you've got yourself your shovel built. That is awesome. So we're going to put that, oh, what was our shovel? Four, I think. All right, now let's uh, let's see. I don't know if I can build, use them while they're on the table. I'm curious if I can, like, pick them right up off the table to use them. Because that would be cool, because you, you could, like, build a bunch of components, parts, and bring them here and then assemble them as needed. Um, let's put that out of our hand. This is, I'm pretty sure this is my hatchet handle. Right, that's the hammer handle. Uh, that one is the. Mm, that's the axe handle. Is this a pickaxe handle? That seems super short. I must have made the wrong one. Um, tax speed, damage on plants. Tax speed, build. Yeah, I think this is the wrong. Well, maybe it's maybe it's the right one for pickaxe. So let's do that. Hit E and see if I can drag them. I guess from the table. This would be the hatchet. Oh, I'm, I'm worried about like putting the wrong thing on there. Oh, look, I can't do that. I have to bring it into my inventory, then I can place it. Oh, what? Or not. Oh, that's the felling axe. That's why I can't do it. Because it doesn't fit on that one. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, we got our little hatchet now. Chunky, chunky, chunk. Hey, hey. He's not super speedy, but uh, he should do better damage to it. So now let's grab our uh, damage to trees big long stick here put our hatchet over on number six that's for chopping up a uh, brush and shrubs put this one in our other hand hit e there and that is our felling axe head excellent it's going to go into our number two slot and then down uh here lovely uh let's put our hammer together oh this is so good i like this yes 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 exciting so we have now have excellent tools to do jobs fast uh there and then uh the pickaxe and I guess this is our pickaxe head. It seems a little short. Not gonna lie, I don't know that I want that swinging around. Looks like a dwarf's pickaxe. But I mean, they do a good job, so maybe that's what we need. All right, so now we have a collection of tools. I don't know which other ones we might need, but that seems like a good selection. Let's go uh, chop down a tree, shall we? Mm, let's go chop down this uh, tree right here, because its its brush is like right in my face. So hit two to bring up the axe, the felling axe. Boom, boom, look how quick that is. It's not moving much faster. Because maybe maybe it would be better to get a whole, oh, that was a lot of stuff falling on my head. Um, maybe it'd be better to get a fast, a combination of a fast um, swing along with um, something that is like, oh wait, I can't put those in there because the thing is full and it's in the wrong space. Because again, I forgot about it. Um, maybe it'd be better to get some sort of combination of speed and effectiveness on the tree chopping. If you guys have a preference, if uh, those of you who have played it have a preference to which uh, tool would be best, please let me know in the comments uh, for different actions. Like if there's a better tree chopping tool that you prefer, uh, let me know and let me know why so others can kind of uh, figure it out as well as we go. Um, let's go ahead and build us some storage. Actually, let's test out this hatchet. Look at that. A little bit quicker. Not a lot. Well, that's actually a good deal faster. It's, it's normally six hits to take out those things with the other hatchet. Now, I don't think these tools have... They do have durability. Okay. Shows the uh, the head and the handle. Damage to plants is huge combined with those ones. Damage to trees is at, like, full. Mining is three quarters there, but mining chance is full. That's good. The shovel digging chance and the building blacksmithing tax speed i love it okay so we got like brush in here now it's not a lot faster but it is faster and i don't i imagine it'll not wear out super quick for us so that's good 
I can have the delight of thinking that I'm doing a little bit faster. <laughs> For this stuff. The, the wood chopping is huge. Huge quick. Okay, well... We're hungry, and uh, this little hatchet is epic for cutting something, at least. We can make our coconuts faster. Mm-mm-mm. One hit wonders. Um, we need uh, more clay. We need more metals. We need all that sort of stuff. I'll try to do most of that off the camera. Um, I did want to put in plank storage here. So let's think about where we could do that and uh, switch it up to morning, come back and find a place to put in our plank storage. We make the planks up there, but we probably use them for construction and such elsewhere. So probably have to think that one through. All right, so we're gonna build two of those, one for the one meters and one for the two meters. That needs a bunch of planks. If we grab our, our little hammer here, I guess the number of things stuck into the building doesn't, doesn't matter to it, eh? That's working. That's a lot of planks. Now we need those, uh, the tops in there apparently uh, just for the record, you can uh, load these things. Uh, one left. See that? It looks like a two meter plank. That's confusing. Uh, and uh, Sorry. Here. <laughs> this is what I want. I want my one meter planks to my left when I'm facing them. One left, two is right. Sure. Uh, some sort of brain logic there for me to remember what to do. So we need to go upstairs and grab our... Do we have room in our inventory? We do. Our nicely drying hayloft up here. And we'll go ahead and uh, grab that. I think it's eight apiece. Oh, it is getting to morning, so or getting to nighttime. So let's actually crank it up to morning and be right back. Okay, uh, now let's put in these uh, uh, tops. Let's thatch this roof. We'll pretend like dry grass patches come from dry grass, not from willow trees, which is actually where they come from currently in this build. That's all right. Lots of those changes are fairly easy and straightforward to make. It's more of a better mechanics or clean mechanics that we want to make sure they're focusing on, right? Okay, now, if I think about this, I want to be able to walk past there. I also want to be able to walk up here. I'm thinking maybe we put the plank storage up on, a, on an actual foundation. What if we do that? What if we switch this to one of those there and one of those there uh, obstructed? Of course it is. Because I just stuck something in the way. Get that out of the way. There we go. Put one of those there. Okay, get out of build mode. Now what do you need? Uh, planks times five. Two meter planks times five. Uh, this guy, of course, is not the right one, but we'll stick him there. I don't think I have any. I need 10 2 meter planks. Yes, I do have lots. Step right here, Drake. You have a ton of them right underneath here. Look at that. There's piles and piles of them. Excellent. Let's uh, safely jump up here. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. Mm hmm. And pull the spinning blades back, run across them. Nothing unsafe about this, kids. Oh. Oops. That was unsafe. I gotta remove that. Unfortunately, do I get my planks back? Mmm, sort of? No, I don't. I get one plank back. Ugh. Okay. Well, that was dumb. The reason I pulled that back out, of course, is because uh, that tree was still in the way. I don't think I want the tree stuck through there. Hit T, place that guy, then cut down the tree with our wonderful new uh, felling axe. I almost would prefer something that was a little uh, faster swinging, I think. Not sure if that's jiving for me. Plank that guy in, smack that guy into place. That's excellent. Uh, this has what in it? One meter planks. Okay, and I said one left. Right? That's kind of my brain, how my brain's going to calculate that. One left is the idea. Uh, if I put you right at the edge, is that going to work? Like that? Seems a little not straight. Let's see, let's make it a little more straight, shall we? Because getting up on your workbenches and standing in slightly unsafe ways is how we roll. Health and safety on the island has not arrived yet. <laughs> primitive, primitive safety first. Uh, that looks a little weird, but I think that's that's that'll we'll pretend like that's perfect. Uh, and you, this this one is just too right. Yeah, see see how my brain works. 
insights into the drake brain. It's disturbing, I know. Come on, tap little gentle. Gentle little taps, friend. There's probably some sort of mechanic that lets me do that better. There we go. All right, so this one will have our, our two meter planks. And the other one will have our one meter planks. Let's grab, uh, well, let's put the logs where they belong. Oh, you know what I can do? I can bit bring this beast up here somewhere too. Mm-hmm. I can indeed. Um, can he sit here? Because what these what this is gonna do is actually let us make Oh no, hold on. Not that side. Let's have it over here on this side. Oh ugh. Uh no, I don't know if that's gonna be smart. If we do that, can we Mm, okay. What I want to see is this. If I have two meter planks here and I tell this thing, go, hey, make me one meter planks, I can use the floor, variety of them, good, and they'll pile up there. Okay, that's a little wonky looking. But then once they turn into one meter planks, I can just drag them and drop them in here, I'm guessing. Ah, look at that, we can too. Oh, that is, that is almost too cheaty now. Do we want it like that, or do we want it to shuffle the other way? I kind of like that. It's weird to be working at it from there, so... Um, can we work on it from here? Can we use it from here? We can. But we don't have the planks in range. Okay. Now, maybe... What we do... Is cancel you for now. Except for the ones you've got currently going. We'll just pick those up, or not. Okay, uh, let's drop off the logs. I wish there was a logs storage too, like just a couple uh, spikes in the ground on either side with a place to pile your logs. That would be lovely, instead of this. Something that kind of did this automatically. As much fun as it is to do, after doing it a few hundred times and having them randomly not quite work and go flying, it gets less exciting. All right, so this might need a different layout. You know what we could do? No, that wouldn't work. It has to be over this side because this is where the planks are. Um, let's drop you down in here. That is a little sideways. Okay. Do that. That's our two meter planks. Now, if we move you to be like this, Or we put you in front, like this. Can we have this sit up and behind it? Does that make sense? That looks a little better to me. Oh yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I'd really love this to be able to like fit better, but it really doesn't, does it? Like that might be good. Because we can just come here and open these and pull stuff out of it. So if I left click on this, it pulls things out of that, see? You can see the stacks going down. Um, if I move, like, drag and drop on there, it throws them in. Uh, I love that. Or I can drag and drop there and it throws them in. Okay, that's a better layout for me. Wonderful. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to actually go here, stand close to this pile, and do this. Um, look at that. Look at that. Bump, 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 bump. Actually, it's faster to pull them in here than do this because it's doing them in twos, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It may not be faster, but it seems faster to me. There you go. And there's one plank left on the corner there. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, I love this system. It's really fantastic. This layout works nicely for us. We'll load up all this stuff and then... Uh, See what we can do about uh, cleaning up this, getting it into the storage. Nice. Uh, two meters over there. Two is right, one is left. Aha, I just picked one up instead of putting it in. We just we don't even have to shift drag or anything. It's just boom, they're in. Lovely. And the last two meter planks there. Excellent. Well, we got our lathe going with our tools going. I think we'll prob I think that's probably a good bit of work for today, and uh, we'll come back uh, tomorrow's episode and uh, see about making um, 
So we will making the next part of our facility. Now that we have proper tools, we can gather some good stuff. We got our blacksmith to make and our house to make. I think we need to decide which needs to go first and which needs to go where. Um, I'm thinking the blacksmith is going to be like across here. Probably somewhere in on this flat here. That was kind of my thoughts on the matter. We have the blacksmith over here, a little less stinky, uh, maybe, and uh, stinky. Uh, and then maybe we put our house up in here? Let's put our house like right here. Maybe in the crossroads? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll think that through and uh, you guys can give me some uh, feedback on ideas about what we need to do. Maybe some heads up of, hey, warning, you're going to need to know about this would be awesome. And uh, we'll keep going. We'll get some more, um, potentially some more fuel in here, I think, is the problem. That is entirely burning out. Boom. Good. Stoked up. You're, you're burnt out. That's too bad. Sometimes I feel that way too, fireplace. Uh, all right, that's it for today, though. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining us for another episode. Hope you are enjoying things. I love this mechanic. I love how this layout works. It's so convenient. Look at that. Oh, so, so nice. And then with the lathe, we don't even have to go around. Uh, we don't we don't work over there at all because that we come from the other side to do that. So uh, I will finally get some of this uh, left, these logs that have been spinning the blades this whole time. Hopefully we're not wearing out our system here. Um, you know, get that, keep that running, finish that up and let you go there. We'll be back to build either a house or a blacksmith tomorrow with a bunch more material gathered with our awesome tools. Thank you everybody so much for joining me and enjoying the series with us. We'll see you in game.